The it's yellow and loud game. Stinky! Stinky! No, I'm sorry. Stinky Linky? That's the meme. <laughs> I'm you not, shouldn't I'm, call her that. Set the bar low. You calling who Stinky? Linky. Stinky Linky. Stinky Linky. Stinky Linky. But Linky would be short for Lincoln. Why are you saying she? Uh, Lincolnette. Link is a guy name. who saved Zelda. That's Link. Yeah, but when he was a kid, they called him Linky. Come here, little Linky. <laughs> Let's get you in the cute little green outfit. Folks, I'm Tom Vassell. <laughs> I'm Massimo. I'm confused, but I'm also Z Garcia. I'm Sam Healy. Welcome back, folks. All right. I feel like today's my day. Yeah. <laughs> Linky, for this. Linky's where it's at. All right. I love. I, I I like Linky a lot. So. All right. I've never played Linky, so. Nor uh, have I. There's an online app you can actually play it and test it out as. All right. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and play here if you don't mind, though. I mind a lot. You teach <laughs> us, maybe. Sure. Uh, this is the American version of um, one of our most popular games. Which I've in actually never played. I've only played right. the English version. Oh, yeah. you're in so trouble, if you were man. good at the English version, and the British version, you should be good at the American version, right? So uh, the aim of the game is to collect cards to spell Linky. And the way you do that is by guessing the link between four questions. So, for example, on one of these cards, you'll see that there are four different questions and the answers link themselves to this ultimate answer. Um, in this case, it's Will Ferrell. And the answers are Campaign, Elf, Stepbrother, and Anchor. And you can probably guess why things like Anchorman get you to Will Ferrell. Right. Um, should we just get straight to it? Right, so you will... Are we you, in teams? Oh, actually, let's do it by... We each take turn being the question master. We'll go around. Okay. And what you want to do is be the first person to shout Linky when you think you know the answer. If you shout it too early and then you get it wrong, you're out of the round and you can't carry on until the right. next round. But so you can get it even from less than four clues. Yeah, you could get it in one clue. Yeah, right. You, you, yeah. It's first clue. Yeah. Does anybody know it? No. Second clue. Does anybody know it? That, that's Exa exactly, yeah. And you then, too can play along. <laughs> so okay. let's just go and... You'll get it after one round, I'm sure. Right. So, here we go. Here's question number one. We Which... don't actually have to say anything out loud for the answer, No, keep right? it in your head. All right. Or, yeah, okay. So, question one is, which tea invention was patented in New York in 1903? So what, what was the second word? Uh, tea. Invention. Invention, like a... The, the, the drink you drink, a tea. Got it, okay. okay got it. The tea invention. And then question two was, what are Capital One, Chase, and Deutsche examples of? So what are Capital One, Chase, and Deutsche examples of? Okay. Question three is, what does an origami expert need to ply their trade? Okay. And then question four is, Brangelina was made up of two people, Angelina Jolie and Brad... Linky. Okay. Money Pit. No. Oh. And okay. also, if no one can get it, there's a clue I can give out at the end. But that's right. when everyone agrees they want to hear the clue. So you're out for this round. Got it. Do you want me to read out the questions again? I, want, I, I just want the first I'd one. I'd you didn't. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Vetoed. <laughs> Uh, question one was which tea invention was patented patented how do you say that? Right. Patented That's right. in New York in 1903. I did not know there was any tea inventions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 actually, hang on. Okay. Your your answer made so much sense, but it's not right. Yeah. 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 yeah why would it? Not I know the four it? answers. I don't know what the comp the, the the link is. Hang on. Tell me if you want the clue. Now I'm gonna give, yeah. Sam doesn't want the clue. <laughs> no, he's out. So yeah, you ready to hear it? The yeah, clue? go ahead. Give me the clue. Okay, the clue is, it gets everywhere at the beach. Uh, sand. You want to call yourself? Hang, 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 hang. Remember, shout Linky to them. Yeah, it's sand. Definitely sand. It is right. Yeah, it is. Linky. Sand. I'm sorry. Linky. That's all right. Yeah, it's sand. Sand, sand bag. Picked. Yeah. Well, bag. Sandbag. Well, a, I'm going back. There's sand pit. There's sand bank. Sand paper. Sand paper. Sand paper. That's right. And sand pit. Oh yeah, sand pit was the last one. But the invention was a tea bag. That's, that's the, the only, only invention drink. I can think yeah. of. There's a I tea bag, know. and then there's that ball, but I don't know what it's called. You know, the, where you tea put ball. the tea in. Is it called a tea ball? I don't know. <laughs> tea cage. I call it a tea cage. <laughs> a tea cage. That's what it looks like. Oh, by the way, are the E's the same, or are they tea different E's? Uh, you can use either E. That's fine. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> Should I just keep? I'll just keep being the person. No, 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 no. We pass it around. You got to okay. guess too. You All just right. looked at the clue, though, Cheater. I actually didn't read the wording. I just looked at a card. We don't Here trust go, guys. Card. We don't trust him at all. Here we go. One. What happens to water at 100 degrees Celsius? Two. What does the F in KFC stand for? Three. Mickey. Ways to cook. Can you be more specific? Ways to... How ways come, to make chicken. How come he gets two chives? Yeah, I feel like... He's We're going to our judges, okay? No. You're out. <laughs> <laughs> Three. When someone has been persuaded to leave a company to go to a competitor, they've been blanked. Four. When fighter jets are quickly called into action, they are what? Uh... Ways to cook eggs. Blinky. Sorry. That's correct. Ways to yeah. prepare eggs. Fair enough. Scrambled That's kind of eggs. nice, son. Scrambled. Yes. Yeah, scrambled and fried. Poached. And, uh, oh, poached. poached. Uh, I, that was the one I had a head on my head. Boiling, boiling, a head hunter. I was like, like poached, yeah. Oh, cannibal is what I really meant to say. <laughs> Ways to cook a cannibal, yeah. <laughs> Ways to cook so I just take the next top one? Yes. Yeah, I was thinking ways to cook, and that was fired. Like, you fired someone, wood fired oven. But. You know, I, I jumped too one? early there. You're poached. poached. You're poaching you people took someone it, from man. another company. I jumped too early on that one. All right, are you ready? Here we go. Number one. Blinky. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Not <laughs> yet. Not yet. I'm here one at least. The person <laughs> running a company is often called a CEO. What does CEO stand for? Oh. <laughs> Number two. Okay, good. Yeah. It's a day. What is the name for a sweater or top with a very high snug collar? I don't know. I know the English words at least. Is it different in America? I don't know. I don't think so. We'll find out. Okay. We'll yeah. see. Number three. Which filmmaking company uses a balanced arm lamp as their mascot? Number four. William Tell famously shot which fruit off the top of his son's head? Say the second one or the first one again, one of those. Okay, number one, the person running a company is often called a CEO. What does CEO stand for? Number two, what is the name for a sweater or top with a very high, snug collar? Number three, which filmmaking company uses a balanced arm lamp for their mascot? And number four, William Tell famously Linky, shot... Linky, they're all tech companies? That is not correct. I know the answers, and I can't think what the link is. Yeah, I can't think of the link either. Number four, William Tell famously shot which fruit off of the top of okay, his well, that one's head? That one's by far the easiest clue. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you just said big companies. The, he said, said that they're tech all tech companies. companies. Or maybe I was too specific, yeah. All right, go ahead and give us a clue. The clue, the iPhone's daddy. Linky. Uh, Apple. No, sorry. No, doesn't matter. I said my word now. Oh, why did I do that? I know. Oh, um, uh... That, that's why I... What? We're seeing... Blackberry? No, you're all incorrect. Uh, the Macintosh? link is Steve Jobs. So I was... Oh! Oh Can't my word! Me. Yes! <laughs> well, you're looking at the clue, so no. I, I don't know. Know. I get it, the clue. I get it, yeah, but I mean. Pixar uh, and Apple is right there. But yeah. I don't get the. He was the CEO. And he always wore turtlenecks. Oh, okay, yeah, like, sure. Oh. The answers aren't. 
No, what, I, I don't get CEO. What CEO stand for? Chief Executive, Executive Officer. Officer. But it doesn't matter, is my doesn't point. The CEO links is. are not the answers. The links he, are the questions, too. Yes, yeah, so they can be he, buried. There's Steve like some Jobs was funny the CEO meta ones in Apple. Apple. So okay, so I needed to not even care about the answer for like the first and the second. The answer didn't matter. Yeah, sometimes think of the general oh. vibe. Okay. Yeah, the CEO one was one that totally threw me off on that one. Pixar and Apple, yeah, I should have put that together. Hmm. Yeah, that's why I Because I already started both of those. Okay. So what happens? Wow. This? Nothing, it just gets discarded. No, give it to Sam, the question. Sure, make the game not? go faster. Go on then. <laughs> you win for the amazing <laughs> skills you had of asking the question. Reading, reading cards. All right, here we go. Number That's one. That's how I intend to win. Just give you guys really bad clues. Like, read them incomprehensibly. <laughs> All right, here we go. Number <laughs> one. Number <laughs> four. Like William Shatner. <laughs> the LGBTQ plus community is represented by a flag with what type of pattern on it? Okay. Number two, complete the popular, but obviously wrong phrase. Blank never strikes twice. Number three. Blinky. Sky-related phenomena. No. Number three. Which hard body part do turtles, crabs, and sea urchins all share? Number four, name the long yellow fruit whose name originally meant fruit of the wise men. Papaya. <laughs> <laughs> My job now is just to mess you guys up. <laughs> Linky, Mario Kart. Yes, that is correct. <sighs> what is it? Mario, Mario Kart. Kart. Rainbow, oh, lightning, banana. shell, and bananas. Yeah, the, 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 yeah, the yeah, things yeah. in the crushed box. I just gotta box. wait. There's no two ways about it. Yeah, rainbow lightning is... I would have got it from those two. The shell, maybe. <laughs> I don't Actually, know. The rainbow threw me off. had me thinking Thor. <laughs> That's true. Um, uh, yeah, I just, I'm just not, not going to say it again. I'll be quiet and wait. There's no way. <laughs> There's too many things. They could change halfway through also. Well, so. the cooking one, yeah, you're right. I'm not guessing early anymore either. Yeah. That was you should. No, you should. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, uh, right, it'll work it. out for you. All right. Question one. Oof. <laughs> You ready for this? Billy Corgan is the lead singer of the band The Smashing Something. Question two. Ocean Spray <laughs> is famous for making which flavor drink? Question three. Ankara is the capital of which country? Linky! <laughs> Food you eat at Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> well, Thanksgiving, but you got it. Yes. Yes, that is very much. Correct. That's <gasps> you were going to wait. I lied! <laughs> I couldn't wait for the fourth one. It was too obvious at that point. Pumpkins and cranberry was already kind of pushing it. Yeah. Fine. Here we go. Number one. There are four main swimming strokes. Freestyle, backstroke, butterfly, and blank stroke. Number two. Which part of her body has Taylor Swift insured for $40 million? I don't know. <laughs> don't think about it too much. Number three. If you look after someone, you have taken them under your blank. Linky. Yes. Parts of the chicken oh, you eat. Oh, I wanted to say it's that. It's just chicken. Woo! <laughs> 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 It's her legs, by the way. Yeah, oh, that's I did not guess. I was dancer. just getting it from She's a dancer, so from breasts and wings. I was like, check out Taylor Swift. I thought it was a, like a singer. She, like she a, is, but she's also a choreographer, dancer. She should ensure her vocal cords. Yeah, maybe she's in sort. So she breaks her leg. She gets forty million dollars. I don't know. I think no, it's they're just, insured for it. It doesn't rich. mean you just get forty million dollars. It means that you can get them fixed. Oh, right, right, right. That makes sense. <laughs> Otherwise, there would be another Nancy. Uh, What's the skater? Nancy Kerrigan Nancy. incident. <laughs> Give my money. All right, here we go. Self. Number one. In which sport would you hear the terms face-off, checking, and slap shot? Is it a sport? <laughs> you really call it that? <laughs> All right. Number Sorry. Two. Which Winnie lived in the 100-acre wood? Number three. Beetles, flies, and ants belong to which group of animals? 
Blinky. Stick. That is correct. Yes. Poo sticks and hockey sticks. I got from there. And then what was yes. the... Yeah. Insect. There's In, a stick insect. A stick yeah. What was the second one? Poo insect? Poo, Poo sticks. sticks. You know the game when you drop the sticks from the top of a bridge and it goes under the water and you have to see if your stick beats everyone else's sticks? That is definitely an English Is that an English thing? thing? Yeah, it's an English oh, thing. Oh, let me uh, give you some because, context. Um, give me a little... I was like, you can have the crappy end of the stick. <laughs> That would Always. be an American euphemism. Who's six? Oh. That's definitely oh. a part of that book. I've never forgot that. They did drop the six under the bridge. And they, and the, they, they the were game. actually pine cones, weren't they, though? Uh, poo sticks. Did they have pine cones as that's well? That's a very British thing. <laughs> uh, Give it to him. He's a guest. Thank there you. you. <laughs> I actually went to that bridge. It's, yeah, everyone Oops. plays it. There's a real bridge which was inspired in Winnie the Pooh. And we're done here. We're going to take you to one of our bridges and show you something. All right. Okay. <laughs> wow. That was on <laughs> camera. <laughs> That was ominous. Uh-huh. <laughs> it was it was a nice gesture. I want to see some nature. <laughs> yeah, thanks. There's Everglades around here. Alrighty. Yeah, there's not many bridges. Yeah, I'll show you a, a bumpy, bitey stick <laughs> in the water. Okay, clue number one. <laughs> you wrote this clue. It has your name on it. Then I can't participate in this I'm one. I'm <laughs> skipping this one. Is out. <laughs> it tells you the name of the person who did the clue. I'm like. We all write some Massimo Zabatelli, like Brooklyn. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> Come on now. Skip oh, it. I snuck that one in there. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be sneaky. All right. Someone who works hard to support their family could be described as bringing home the what? Number two. Forgive my pronunciation. I do not know how to pronounce this. What is focaccia? It's F O C A C C I A. Focaccia. Focaccia. Mm-hmm. Number three, romaine, butter, and frise are types of what of which vegetable? Number four. Say the first one again. Someone who works hard to support their family could be described as bringing home the what? Linky. Yes. BLTs. That is correct. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say it. it. Yeah. Yeah. I waited too long. I oh, know. I was just scared. Sam has Lynn. Lynn. I just need Nil. tea. I have lie. lie. This is actually yours, Z. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, Can't believe you put a clue with your own name in here with that garbage. <laughs> Question hey, one. Man, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Who was the bass player for the police? <gasps> Question two. I know that one. I don't have any clue. <laughs> uh, the main ingredients in a Snickers bar are chocolate, caramel, nougat, and what? Question three. Which word describes the, I don't know how to pronounce this word, gamet, gamet, released by a flower, transported by Blinky. both wit. Uh, allergies. Yes, it is. What? I was thinking it. I just yeah. wanted to Polly, say yeah. it. I, I was waiting happen. for the third one. Bass Sting is the bass Sting. player. Yeah. The police only had three <clears throat> members. Yeah, he played bass. He played bass. was a singer. And, and he played singer bass too, and he yeah. sung. Yeah, he was the lead he, singer. He sang about creeping on ladies and he played the bass. <laughs> <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Also, he was in Every step Dune. you take. He was in Dune. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What was the second? What was the second question? Uh, peanuts, peanuts in the, peanuts, in the yeah. Snickers bar. Chocolate. Oh, my word! I was like, I those know. are all the was, ingredients I could think of. Could have been some shrimp in there now. <laughs> no shrimpies. All right, guys, here we go. That'd be weird. Oh, that was your first card. Okay, Yay, welcome to the game. I am <laughs> playing mouse. All right, number one. The United States' longest war is the Afghan War. What is its second longest? Number two. What's the easiest Rus- Russell Stover product to pick up at the drugstore as, as a last minute Valentine's Day gift? We don't have that in England. Number three. What is another name for table tennis? Oh, oh, Linky! Forrest Gump! That's right, Forrest. Wow. You better run! Oh. Run! Yep. Run now for your life! life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I could I I was like, how do Vietnam and chocolate go together at oh, all? I couldn't yeah. get that one. Box of chocolates, Vietnam. But yeah. ping pong, I was like, oh! Well, the fourth th- the answer to the fourth thing was Tom Hanks. So at that point, you'd be like, oh, okay. <laughs> all right, here we go. Are you ready? No. Number one, someone who is excellent at writing 
is often referred to as a blanksmith. Writing. Writing, yes. Writing, yeah. Number two, when a person is very good at something, they blank at it. Um, Linky. Don't do it, don't do it. Too Too soon. soon. Yeah. Microsoft programs. Or part of the Microsoft Word package or whatever it's called. Microsoft Office products, yes. Oh, That's not exactly Excel what he said. Lag. I'm sorry. Now he is <laughs> lying. <laughs> you really, like, you just can't help yourself with those E's. Oh. <laughs> okay, here we go. Number one. What type of animal is Mr. Peabody? I'm sure you got all that. Okay, uh-huh. number two. Which technology is used to remove tattoos, reduce wrinkles, and fix poor eyesight? Number three. Which type of horse should you never look in the mouth? A blank horse. No, we got it. Number four. (laughs) When in doubt, give up. What is the human body's largest organ? I was about to tell you to turn off your phone, but apparently that's a bird right outside the window. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I had no idea on this. Just as a heads up, I'm looking at this, and I would not have got it. So I think I should give you guys the clue. Ooh, okay, go ahead. I'm going to try Linky. All right, go ahead. Plastic surgery. No. Hmm. Thanks for trying on behalf of us. The you clue is, yeah. now you're it. Linky. Yes. Tag. That's correct. I don't know what the answers were, but the clue helped me. Laser tag. Laser tag. Laser tag. Skin tags. And then gift gift tags. Oh, uh, yeah. The first, the first one, one is dog. Oh, dog tags. What was the first one, though? A dog. Mr. Mr. Peabody's, Peabody's a dog. Said, oh, oh, I I a dog. dog tag, laser I tag. Didn't know that. Whew, that's, a, that's, that's a tough one. That gift tough. tag? I guess. Yeah, you put a gift tag on something. We need to get okay. more questions. Bom, bom, I feel like whoever's oh, the farthest ahead should win. Yeah. Of course maybe. you would. Lying. You can't. You, you literally are unable spell to spell Ellie. the word right now. <laughs> Ellie. You're right. Okay. Eel. Should we carry on? Yeah, go ahead. Let's do okay. a few more. All right. Number one. Which erotic novel by E.L. James describes Anastasia's relationship with business magnate Christian? Yes. Oh. Number okay. two. You read it too, didn't you? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> I did not. God, he's watched not. it. Turn so many shows uh, right watch now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's the street name for nitrous oxide? Okay. Number three. What animal does George Clooney play in Wes Anderson's first animated movie? And number four. A, B, positive and O, negative are both types of what? So got it, Linky. Yes. Types of hounds. Yes. Wow. Very good. Hounds. Yes. Yeah. Well, the first one's different shades of greyhound. Greyhound. Hound, bloodhound. Yeah. Fox, fox hound. hound. I don't know what the second clue was. Uh, oh, whip it. It was the street name for nitrous oxide. I don't know that, but whip it. Oh. Whip see, it I was thinking nos. But that's actually a product. A nos hound. Nope. That's why I was like, hmm, that's a nice, you got a nice NOS on that NOS <laughs> All right. This is me. How do I think this game is going? I'm lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, guys. Oh, nope. Is that an N? No? He's not going to, why? I haven't uh, checked some of these. All right, no, no, go. you're good. All right, here we go. One. This is in yours? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Vancouver is a Canadian city found in which province? Mm-hmm. Two. Complete the name of the Irish poet, poet Blank Yeats. Mm-hmm. It's Yeats, but okay. Complete the title of the movie, of the Disney movie, The Blank and the Hound. Four. What does the U stand for in USB? I don't actually know that. Is that common knowledge? Yeah. I don't think it's common knowledge. I, I don't know if there is or not. But it was USB. What's the, number, well, what's the uh, first one again? 
Uh, Vancouver is a Canadian city found in which uh, province? Okay, got it. And then number uh, two. Oh, Lenky. I'm just going to guess. I don't. Um, uh, movie studios. That is correct. That's wow. exactly what it says. Universal movie is the one. Studios. Sure, uh, Universal and Fox. WB, That's all Fox, WB, <laughs> Universal, and Columbia. Col Columbia, yeah. yeah. Columbia! Where, ah! Columbia what you got? Is the thing. <laughs> yeah! Oh my goodness. You need well, to stop. What is it? Is it two letters it's for one? Uh, 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 I think it's three. All right, no, one more letter. Black. One more letter, baby. Yeah. I like it! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Come on, Sam. Come on. Finish the lyric of this classic song. When my sugar walks down the street, all the little birdies go <laughs> blank, blank, blank. <laughs> all right, Shatner, come down. <laughs> I don't know the song, but I I, I know now uh, what it would sound like if uh, yeah if. Uh, he sang it. <laughs> Jason did it, yeah. Um, number two. A tiny replica of an airplane is referred to as a what? A tiny replica. Number yeah, three. Saying. Name the Richard Matheson sci-fi novel that later became a film with Will Smith. I, I am that. blank. Number four. Oh, they gave you the title. Dang it. While pregnant, many women have a blank... For peculiar few foods they'd usually never eat. What was the second one? A tiny replica of a of an airplane is referred to as a what? Hmm. Number one. Okay. Finish Are we not the, number one? <laughs> finish the lyric of this classic song. When my sugar walks down the street, please stop. All the little birdies go blank, blank, blank. What was the final one? While pregnant, oh god, I got it. Many yeah. women have a blank for peculiar foods they usually never eat. Yeah, good luck getting this one. Yeah, I, uh, maybe we need the clue. All right, the clue is. She's making America great again on Instagram. Who on earth could that be? I don't know this person, honestly, but I mean I've heard her her name, but it's a her. So it's obviously someone I don't know. Linky, I'm just gonna guess someone who's okay. on Instagram that's big. Um, Selena Gomez. No. I don't think so. I don't think she would use the phrase make it America great again. Yeah. Well, again, that's the clue. I don't know if she actually Model. says that. Oh, now we're talking it through? Sure. <laughs> Word is model and legend. A legend. Uh, I guess, uh, Someone who Instagrams a lot? You said Selena Gomez? Ah, uh, it's just a full on guess. Uh, I don't know. I, I can't think. I can't even. I have no I, idea. I can't even think of a, a word to say. Chrissy Teigen. Who? Chrissy Teigen. Right. Exactly. A legend. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you get the card? I do. What? Whose husband? Lilin. Hey, oh. We made that rule and it's only helped Sam so oh. far. <laughs> I know, I don't like it. I should have maybe kept a difficult one then. Alright, here we go. Do you won half your cards? Oh, this is a good one. Question master. Here we go, ready? Great. Okay, let's do it. What vitamin is created in our bodies when exposed to sunlight? Mm -hmm. Wait, what, huh? What vitamin is created in our bodies when exposed to sunlight? Number two. There are two ways to give birth. All natural or a what section? Okay. Number three. What is the recovery group for people who drink too much abbreviated as? Number four. What North American Motor Club gives out free maps and lets you renew your license instead of going to the DMV? What's question three again? What is the recovery group for people who drink too much abbreviated as? Really? Blinky. Blinky. Yes. Letters of the alphabet? No. Oh. Uh, li Linky insurance companies. 
No. Okay, so everybody else is done. Oh! Okay, D, C, A, A. Yeah. What's the final one? What North American Motor Club gives out free maps and lets you renew your license instead of going to the DMV? The AARP, right? Is that not who that no, is? That's no, that's not right. what that is. Triple uh, A. Oh, Triple A. Is that baseball levels or whatever? Oh, no. I don't know what it is now. That's not what that is? You know what it is now? It's batteries. It is batteries. Ba batteries, sorry. I don't yeah. Yeah. CD, double A, triple A. Yeah. yeah. That's a good one. That also, boom! Home. <laughs> Uh, Wait, that, that, that doesn't finish anything? No, uh, but three turns into one. Oh, three letters turn into oh, one. Oh, you beast. You beastly beast. You've played the game before. Not you this knew one. It. You knew that one. But you can play this online like you... But He read it out wrong, so we get, yeah. get it. Yeah, I'm sure. I helped you out. <laughs> All right, well, that's Linky, folks. That's cool. I finally won one. You did it. All right, until next time, I'm Tom Vassal. I'm Massimo, and I don't win my own games. <laughs> I'm Z Garcia. I'm Sam Healy. See you on the flip side, folks. Take care. Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast, or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.